Starvation, evasion. Starvation Evasion is an educational computer game designed for one or multiple players. Players assume the role of state or regional policymakers governing, regulating, stimulating, and facilitating agricultural activities within their region of the United States, with game expansions allowing players to represent and explore the interests of other countries. When you start the game, you are taken to the intro screen. Here you can set game options, create an account, and log in. Gameplay occurs in turns wherein all players simultaneously draft policies, each from his or her hand of seven available policy cards. Drafted policies are played face down, that is, when one player plays a policy card on his or her computer, other players can see which players have drafted policies, but cannot yet see the content of those policies. After all players have drafted their policies, or pass, or time has expired, all the face-down policies are revealed to all players. Most of the gameplay takes place in the main Starvation Evasion screen. Let's take a look at it. Notice the world map is panable and scrollable and outlines regions when they are moused over. There is a message ticker reel that is similar to a stock ticker and displays game messages. The game clock shows how much time is left in the draft or voting phase. The chat window is used for communication between players. It displays the chat history and shows which player has said what as well as identifying players by region. There are also controls for discarding policy cards from a hand and an undo which reverts a draft or discard action. The drafted card section of the screen shows which cards the player has chosen to draft or put to voting. There are also region statistics which show both world and region statistics. Now take a look at a sample voting screen. The card borders change color depending on whether the user voted up, green, abstain, black, or down, red. If a card has enough votes, its border becomes gold. There will also be a game clock and chat window as in the drafting layout. At the end of the voting phase, all enacted policies are applied to the simulator and the simulator calculates the complex web of interacting effects over the next three years. During the next policy phase, players can view changes in world population, population distributions, world hunger distributions, crop yields by location, crop market prices, and other factors relating to or likely to affect agriculture. Policy Drafting Phase 1. At the start of the game and the start of each policy drafting phase, each player gets a set of seven policy cards chosen at random from a policy card deck specific to that player's region. 2. Each player may draft up to two policies from the policy cards in his or her hand. 3. When drafting a policy, the player may need to assign some variables on the card. For example, a card that says purchase in-state commodity food for redistribution to in-state low-income persons. Purchase a dollars of X. That requires that the player specify both A and X. 4. During a single turn, a player may not draft more than one policy card that requires support. 5. In place of playing a policy card, a player may immediately discard up to three cards and immediately draw three new cards. If the player still has a remaining policy draft action, then the player may draft either one of the new cards or one of those not discarded. 6. At any time during the policy drafting phase, any player may discard one policy card. This card is not replaced until the draw phase at the end of the turn. Each player may only do this once per turn. The Policy Voting Phase 
After all players have drafted their policies, or pass, or time has expired, all the face-down policies are revealed to all players. Any policies not requiring support are immediately enacted. Any policies that require support are displayed in the voting pool and highlighted on each player's screen. Different colors of highlighting indicate which players are eligible to vote on those policies. As players vote to support, oppose, or abstain on a particular policy, the total counts are dynamically displayed. Once a policy receives the required votes, it is applied to the simulator. Voting ends on a particular policy when it has the required support or when enough oppose or abstain votes have been cast so that it cannot be passed or when the total voting time, two minutes, ends. The policy draw phase. The simulator deals random cards from each player's deck until the player has seven cards in hand. This is the policy draw phase. Winning the game. Team and individual player goals. Like in the real world, in starvation evasion, cooperation benefits everyone. Yet each policymaker wants to see his or her own region benefited the most. In the first version of this game, players can only play the part of policymakers within the U.S. The underlying simulation, however, models the world food market, world climate, and world population. The main goal of the game is for the players to see the world through 2050, while avoiding widespread famine throughout any of the modeled world regions. If such a widespread famine does occur, the game ends and everyone loses. Successfully preventing widespread famine through 2050 is the win condition for all players. The secondary goal is only achievable when all players have won by preventing widespread famine through 2050. In this case, the player whose region ends the game with the highest human development index is hailed by all as a great leader and immortalized in song and sonnet.